The Irving Islamic Center hosts a monthly gathering with community leaders to promote fellowship and goodwill throughout the community. Here's a look at their most recent meeting. The evening prayer is a sacred tradition among the members of the Irving Islamic Center. Honoring their neighbors is also important to their faith. Part of the tradition of the Muslim is to treat their neighbors. Nordin so, Nowiwa heads up the Islamic Center of Irving's community development team. Each month, he hosts a gathering of community leaders to create connections for learning more. The idea is to, first of all, congratulate them for the work that they are doing for the city. And second is to build the connection and bridges between the Islamic uh, co community in Irving and the general uh, public at large. This month, they hosted Fire Chief Victor Conley and Assistant Parks Director Joseph Moses. And most of the time when you think about a fire department, you think of them as fighting fires or responding to a, uh, medical calls. But we, uh, we have so many more uh, aspects of our department that maybe you're not familiar with. It's always good to reach out to the community and let them know not only what their tax dollars are going for, but also to, to, to let them uh, know and be educated on what services are out there. Joe Mose has also brought news from Parks and Recreation, emphasizing the role that residents play in shaping programs and activities. We're an ever-changing service. We're here to service you. Um, we don't know what you want if you don't tell us. So it's very important that you get involved in the rec centers. Each rec center has an advisory council, which is basically Moses says events like this are part of his mission. It's woven into the very nature of Parks and Recreation. We provide services for the community as a whole. Part of creating community is enjoying mutual customs. So each of the monthly meetings begins with a delicious meal at the neighboring Kasbah Grill. Generally we treat them with a meal, with a tea, then we start the discussion and the rest comes by itself. Moses agrees that events like this one provide an essential opportunity. This is a growing segment of the community here in Irving and it's very important that we reach out, let them know the services that we provide and you know that we embrace them. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting. To learn more about the Irving Islamic Center visit irvingmasjid.org.